onto it. Seeing if we can heavy. Oh, yikes, baby. Very. That's yeah, GG's. Is... That's game. Yeah. That's, wow. Wow. <laughs> what is up, Go World? It's me, your boy, JDZ, and I am back at you again with another Go Format video. Uh, Patreon Premium Championship Qualifier 23 is in the bag, and we got another winner. We got another title holder in the building with me today. I have LRG's finest, Mr. Soul Master Matt, coming in, air horns all around. Congratulations, I can't say again. Congratulations for winning that event. It was stacked, man. It came. It came. I thought it was gonna be like a like a little lower event, but it, it turned out to be forty heavy hitters showed up to that event, and you knocked it out. Big, uh, big congratulations for that, man. And uh, please take a little bit more time to introduce yourself, Mr. Soul Master. So, hey everyone, I'm Soul Master Matt. I've been uh, you know, playing Yu-Gi-Oh for a couple years now. Uh, happy to win. You know, I really tried and. I was able to go undefeated, and it was a really good event. It was nice, man. And I know you, you got you got close a couple times. You had a couple close calls, a couple a couple significant times, but you just couldn't quite get over the hump. You know what I'm saying? What did what did, what did you yeah. do different to kind of to kind of finally seal the deal? Um, so I've just been doing a lot of play testing, uh, working around with different decks, and uh, for this event, you know, I tried you know really prepping for like a lot of turbo, uh, but also like making the majority of my side deck for warriors. Okay. Uh, and I mean, it really ended up turning out that there was pretty much no warrior players near the top, really. Or I didn't get to play against any warrior players. Uh, the way that I got my deck set up worked out perfectly. That's dope, man. Uh, before, but and before we get into the deck profile, I know a lot of people want to get to the deck profile. They probably fast forward through all this anyway, going right to the going right to the spice. But I gotta know what what does the the soul master of the soul master mat stand for? How did that come along? I have to know. That's just uh, that's that's my that's my new quest to find out people's username. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, <laughs> so I've never been going making usernames ever. Okay. And uh, I used to play a lot of League of Legends. Oh, okay. Do you, still play? Character... Do you still play? Uh, uh, no, I quit like a few months ago. Oh, okay. Terrible okay. game. Don't play it. Oh, damn. Shots fired. <laughs> <laughs> so um, uh, at the time, uh, a new character came out a few years ago called Aurelian Soul. And I was playing him a lot and I really liked it. And I thought Soul, I was a master of playing Aurelian Soul. So I was like, Shit, Soul Master Matt sounds perfect. Hey, okay, that, that's pretty dope. And if you don't know, go ahead and go back to watch uh, Lucas the Heretic. Okay, see his interview that that was on this program as well. And they are in fact relation. Okay, we got two brothers in the building. Both of them got their usernames via video game, video game style. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope to see that. Speaking of brothers, I mean, I got one more one more thing before we hop into the deck profile. Do yep. you think you and your brother are the best dueling brothers in go format right now? I mean, there's a, lot of, there's, a, there's a lot of heat brothers out there. You got Krebs, you got SDL Killer, you got Alephia 2, you got the world champ delinquent. Do you, do you guys think you guys are ready to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the other brothers of our format? It's a tough one. Um, I'd say so. Okay. Okay. I want to see it. We might better set that up. Brother battle. Tune in. We'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. We get sibling, sibling civil war. We'll see what happens. But enough talk. Let's go ahead and pull up this deck profile. You want to do that? Uh, so we'll we'll pull it up, man. You can tell us about this deck. Tell us why you decided to play this deck. Um, here is the deck that the Soul Master Matt decided to take to the Patreon or Premium World Championship Qualifier number twenty three. Um, what what is what is the significance of this deck to you and? Uh, Tell, tell us about it and why you made it this way and why what's what's with the warrior strategy for you i mean i just i'm big on playing warriors you mm. know i'm a stereotypical warrior player mm. of course. There, there it is check the video you know that's that's it course, no. the video. <laughs> okay so uh i've always like my brother really got me into playing warriors it was just the deck i could really connect with i used to play turbo a while back but i don't know i just i really enjoy warriors i like it has a lot of very interesting uh, decision trees you have to go down and think about. Mm -hmm. And I think personally, I believe it's the best deck. I, I don't, I mean, I, I want to disagree with you. I want to disagree with you, but Warriors have seen like the meta in Go format, if, you, if, you're, if you're not familiar with the format, the meta doesn't really change too much. I mean, it it's kind of it's kind of solidified in what's going to be good and what's going to be bad. But Warriors decks have kind of, just maintain consistency through all of the major ebbs and flows. Turbo has changed drastically from the beginning of last year to the uh, the middle of this year and all the way to the now. Turbo has still have been kind of a revolving door of what's good and what's not. Warriors has been pretty pretty uh, pretty standard what's good. So tell me about this deck and why you made it this way because it is slightly different from some of the other Warriors I've seen uh, have success this season. 
Um, so the reason I played this kind of version mm -hmm. is uh, my brother mainly did most of the building on it. Shout to him for building the deck pretty much completely. Um, you know, I, I didn't change too much about it. But the reason I did like three Dust Tornadoes is because my brother have both been playing multiple Zings. It's a really heavy Zing meta for Warriors. Almost every Warrior player is playing Zing. People are playing around it. We just thought, you know, just put in Dust Tornadoes just to punish the people that are trying to play around Zing, just setting one. Okay. And then um, I decided to go with the Dust Shoots, uh, just because, you know, against Turbo, it just makes a Turbo matchup that much better. So Dust Shoot just works really, really well against Turbo. It just makes the matchup that much more favored, in my opinion. Right. It's not needed. Um, I wanted to try the tournament. You know, I've been mainly just playing Zings, multiple Zings. I've been playing Jars. As I said, try something different for a change, and it worked out really well. So it's—I mean, I could see it. I, I think the Warrior deck is very powerful. So if you are just coming into Go format and you want to have a pretty good success, like relatively early, you should try to maybe consider playing the Warrior strategy because it's—it's uh, it's actually really, really potent and really powerful, and it can—it can do some damage, especially if you if you learn how to use it. But yeah, go ahead and uh, go ahead and tell me about this side deck, man. What do you got going on here? I see you got some some old school stuff coming back in. You got some old school concepts, and you got some spice in the yeah. side. Go ahead and tell us about that. So uh, I decided to try out Kinetic Soldier. Um, I didn't have, you know, especially with a lot of warrior players mm -hmm. in the mirror siding into spies. I thought, you know, if I set Cypher Soldier, you know, they're going to run into it with Sasuke or whatever, and they're going to take huge amounts of damage. Right. And it's just so punishing when they think, like in the warrior mirror, if you're going and you're thinking, oh, I'm going to run into this spy real quick with my Blade Knight. You're gonna run to the cipher soldier, and you're just gonna get blown out. That's true, and then you couple a couple a couple of solemns into that, and then you're you're gonna be well within death range. You know, a couple of solemn oh, yeah. battles, head into a cipher soldier, kinetic soldier with a with a, a blade knight like you said, or a uh, ninja grand master while it's face down could call that could just be game in itself a lot of times. Okay, yeah, I went with uh, two Wong Hus. I've been really thinking about it. I've been really considering going to three. Uh, it's just such a strong card. It's just hard to make room for it right now. Right. Uh, I did two Mobius. I normally do three, but for this kind of event, I thought, hmm, I may as well play two. I like the way it works. And it's just like three feels like too much sometimes. One Zombra on the side for the War Mirror. Two books, which are really optional. I don't know. I feel like throwing it in because I've been seeing, you know, a little bit more of a resurgence of people playing like CC. And I thought, you know, book is a nice option to have. And it was a little bit of free space in a way. Right. Because I cut a Mobius. Two Brain Control, of course. Uh, you side that in with the Mobius to uh, just maximize your value. My body is shield with some serious spice I decided to throw in. I like that. And it actually worked out really well. Um, along with two walks, I would have rather than be commands. I, I didn't realize when I submitted it, uh, but I was actually going to have those be royal commands. Instead of the walks. I mean, yeah, because in, in, in Warriors, you really don't have a lot of good walkable items, especially since you're not running the spies. I guess you can walk a kin kinetic if you really need to. or Yeah, you can walk, you can walk a Mobius because yeah, yeah. you're signing it in for the Mobius. Right. Um, but I, I really thought it was a royal command. It was a, just an honest mistake to put that in there. Did it? Did you play Burn? Did it come up at all? Uh, yeah, I did play Burn. I played uh, <laughs> round one. I played versus Cursey, and he's playing like a Cat Burn kind of deck. Uh, shout out to Curse, man. That's the homie. Oh, man. RIP. It'd be like that. It is what all it right. is. <laughs> okay, okay. What it, I like I like the deck, man. I like the deck. Like I said, Warriors, it's pretty standard. It's not... I want to say standard Warriors, but I mean, this is... This is Warriors. This is what you, when you think of a Warrior deck, this is kind of what you think about. The side deck, seeing those Kinetics come back in, seeing the My Body come back in, I think that's pretty cool too. All right, so Soul Master, like I said, I love the deck, man. But if there are any significant changes you would make to this deck, what are they? What would they be uh, to, to make, it, make it better than what it is right now? Um, so one of the things I noticed when I was playing against all my turbo matches is that I was just practically losing games if I couldn't... Uh, get my sasuke out and i only have one so the change that i would really make for it is i would put in a second sasuke and maybe cut you know you cut dust tornado torrential if you're just insane mm. uh cut a dust shoot even um but the second sasuke is just really important especially with how many people are playing spies right so second second sasuke folks fit it in there make it happen that's coming straight from the soul master so what do you guys think what do you guys think about this warrior deck versus the other warrior decks we've shown um and when you play warriors what what do you prefer do you play zing do you play more battle traps do you play um different types of cards tell, tell us about it into the comment section but soul master go ahead and tell me about some of the matchups that you had in this event and how they go uh you say you play curse shout out to the boy curse again man on burn and uh you had to you had to end him off of there 
and then what happened next if you can remember i mean um in the second round i played uh-huh i played against michelle Semino, who was playing turbo okay oh he's uh, back he, he, like he took dealer. he took a break for a while he came back good yeah. to see him come back shout out to him too shout out to him uh i played against shaggy powers uh, oh my next man not the homie shaggy not the homie shaggy. oh no rest rest in peace to him r.i.p shaggy you know what i'm saying okay so we actually had a really close match in game three he ended up getting um a game loss for something that happened in the previous game i don't really remember the whole thing oh i heard about that yeah i heard about that something something some discrepancy happened and he got a game loss that was that was yeah. very unfortunate that was very unfortunate um, and it happened in the game three also which is just so rough yeah and then after i played against uh jcvd oh, okay who actually had a really um interesting deck he was playing um like a go control deck oh yeah the the, the 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 john claude special dude he hits you with the demon yeah. go control oh, yeah i know all about that deck i've yeah. been following that deck for a long time. oh yeah yeah some spice that deck was spice <laughs> yeah he's, he's been rocking that for a minute and that was a really good match uh and then i played against uh shogun lopez okay shout out to the homie i mean he's great he's, he's, he's a fantastic player. player man he was on turbo he wasn't playing warriors yeah. yeah he was on turbo okay which was surprising i was expecting warriors but he played really well i mean the winners finals uh the only thing crazy that really happened was i got to use my body's shield when he used tribe and i okay. think it ended up winning me the game from my memory was that winners finals uh yeah that was winners finals oh dope man okay i have to see that you guys send us that replay we'll we'll throw it up here right now uh, yeah, have, sure. have it going because i was in the booth i don't remember seeing that i don't know maybe i was uh maybe i was messing with the overlay or some crap i don't know i think you might have been streaming loser's side I'm oh sure. that's right I, I don't know maybe i missed it maybe i missed it okay okay and then after that i played shogun in the grand finals mm -hmm. some spice a, a little bit of spice happened in there um but yeah i mean overall it was a really good tournament it was strong played against a lot of good players nice 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 so now but now the the real challenge becomes you know what i'm saying you finally got this dub you got your invite to the goat format world championship that's taking place on october the 22nd okay so that's not a lot of time to prepare your yeah. mind and your body to to be in that event how are you going to do it? What's your what's your preparation looking like? Uh, there's there's not a lot more uh, high level tournaments taking place between now and then. What are you going to do to prepare yourself to to do well at Worlds? Um, so I'm playing the FLC. You know, I'm going to play a few tournaments. Whatever tournaments I can play, I'm going to play. Okay. And then along with that, I'm play testing my brother Lucas. Uh, I mean, we like to play test and we like to get down like you know trying to figure out what we can figure out to get like the best deck possible and you know surprise our opponents i'm, I'm looking forward to it man hopefully hopefully you do well i want to see it maybe you can shock the world become the world's go format world champion I anything can happen you know what i'm saying this is go format this is not chess okay this is not chess this is any anything can take place in this in this format man but i really like the deck i like what you had to say you know what i'm saying i like your tournament experience i was in the booth i had the opportunity of of calling some of that it was really cool to see i'm glad you got the invite man you're a lovely person we met in real life you know what I'm saying? i have your let me yeah. see if I, can, I have my i have my own if you guys can see this before the i have my my sign my sign don zalug from the soul master dude look can't see it the light the light's too crazy but i got the sign don zalug from the soul master mat you know what i'm saying fantastic duelist fantastic person uh and I, I wish nothing but the best for what he's got going on so before we wrap this thing up mr soul master man is there any uh significant sh any shout outs you want to give before we tie this thing on up and get on out of here uh yeah i mean shout out to my brother lucas so uh, i want to give another shout out to sdo killer okay because uh, i took a lot of inspiration i always took a lot of inspiration from him me and my brother both uh really respect him as a deck builder uh he did really well in the clash champions and i took a little bit of inspiration from him for that Okay, okay. SDL did come in second place in Clash. Ivan Rosito won that event. He refuses to come by and talk to the program, so we'll have to we'll have to maybe do something else for that at a later date. And I I mean I want to do more of these videos. I want to get more people on here. I want to do more. So you guys gotta let me know who you want to see. I'll try to get it. Anthony Alvarado, I owe that. He he he's a real champion. He needs to come by here too. Other people need to come by here. It's gonna be it's gonna be goats all the time. So it's just timing and people's personal schedules and everything, there's conflicts. But yeah, shout out to him. Shout out to you. Shout out to the, the crew and everything. Anything else you want to say, man, before we wrap it up? You got to you got to um, batten down the hatches, man. It's hurricane season coming your way. Yeah, I really do need to, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm worried I'm not going to be able to finish the FLC, honestly. Oh. Uh, if the power goes out for a couple of days, I might just have to – I might get scrubbed out. Oh, dude, you go, you'll be you'll – Same be thing out. with my brother or even Shaggy. I mean, any of us down in Florida, I mean, we might have no power, so – 
Well, you know what? I guess just hope for the best. That's all you can do. Hope for the best and let, let it work out, man. But stay safe, man. Stay dry. Uh, head for high ground. Do what you can. If you need anything, try to reach out and let, let the good world know that you guys are okay. We all shot uh, prayers growing up for Florida at this time. Yeah, for sure. All right, Soul Master Matt, man. I appreciate you taking time to come by, brother. It means a lot. Hopefully, I have more time to see you again. Keep winning. In closing, that is uh, Soul Master Matt. T again, tell me what you think about him. Tell me what you think about his deck. Tell me what, if you don't like it, if you hate it. How you feel about Warriors? How you feel about this metagame? Um, how you feel about Go for Master in general? Are you going to keep playing? Let me know. Uh, until then, I'm JDZ. I play goats. Until the next time, shout out to the OGs. Salute to the real ones. Peace. This program was made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you.